Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another diecast review here on the channel today. Today, we have one of my favorite next gen diecasts to be released so far, and this is Ryan Blaney's number 12 Advanced Auto Parts Ford Mustang. So, before we go ahead and dive into this review, I just want to say this car is absolutely beautiful. Uh, I really like the black and the yellow and the red trim around the uh, the logos and stuff. And uh, we'll look at the hood and stuff here in just a moment. But just first impressions, this car is really, really nice. And uh, it's one of my favorite cars to see on track um, whenever it races. So uh, shout out to Team Penske and Blaney for uh, really knocking this one out of the park and Advanced Auto Parts. Uh, it's a really, really nice paint scheme. And uh, definitely recommend getting this die cast. Um, hopefully the quality is pretty good, but we'll see uh once we get this car out of the box so looking at the box art we got 2022 next gen right there ryan blaney this is my first ryan blaney diecast in next gen form that's actually not true uh we had the um libman 164. i'm waiting on the body armor car to come out at, as of the record time of this recording it hasn't came out yet um the diecast chassis has come out the ones with the, with the uh that are a little bit higher quality but i'm just gonna wait on the standard for it um, but yeah, here's all the box art. You got Ryan Blaney, number 12 advanced auto parts, 2022 Mustang limited edition. Um, so pretty cool car. We'll go ahead and take it out of the packaging. Hopefully this box will cooperate and, uh, don't have any issues with it. Knock on wood. The last few have been pretty good. Uh, this one might be a little stingy. So give me just one moment. So thankfully we didn't really destroy it. Uh, had to get a little aggressive with it. That's actually a little not even a tear just a little bend so um you know at the end of the day these just go on my shelf so it isn't a big deal if the box gets destroyed or anything I prefer it not to be but um if it does it, it does so uh first impressions again this car is awesome uh, we'll look at the hood starting off though uh in the front we got pins oil right there with the ford mustang nose uh, really really nice the decals look nice on these mustangs you can see all the detailing and stuff in there with the grill uh, the headlights look pretty good. They're, this 12 right here got a little smushed. Ooh, that looks pretty bad. Um, not terrible. Looks Just looks like it got cut off. So um, It's kind of not noticeable, but, I mean, if you look at it right now, it looks like a 1 and a C for some reason. Um, but, uh, you know, other than that, the nose looks pretty good. On the hood, we got advanced auto parts right there, and I'm very happy that they didn't just leave this blank with a black background. They put a checkered flag font behind it and uh the black and gray look really really good uh in behind that logo so shout out to them for that uh really clean looking window banner honestly the ford logo is not blurry blaney is not blurry at all either um and you know it just looks good so uh, everything other than the logo the number on the front looks pretty good so far on the left side of the die cast um the decals on camera they look sparkly i promise in person they're not that sparkly um you know different angles they look you know a little bit more sparkly than the others also on camera this looks more mustard yellow than it does in person in person this is a little bit darker uh so just keep that in mind as we go through this uh this review but uh, you know they did a really good job with the advanced logo on the side as well as the 12 and you know as far as sponsorship and the number being pushed forward i think this looks really really good uh for this paint scheme and you know they really really uh hit it out of the park with this car so uh, but moving along, you got Worth right there. We got the silver rims, by the way. Um, and I, honestly, I think they look awesome on these Fords or on these Tim Penske um, diecasts. I think they look awesome. Uh, we got Wabush and Menards there on the quarter panel. Got the American Ethanol fuel cell right there or the uh, wherever the fuel goes in. I forgot what that's called. Uh, you got some sponsors there on the B post and the Dex imaging there on the C post there on the back. On the back of the car, we got advanced auto parts right there with red and some yellow down there. Uh, everything on the back looks pretty good. Spoiler looks good. Uh, advanced auto parts there on the deck lid and then Ryan Blaney there on the back windshield. Also, we got a snap-on logo there on the roof. I should probably point out. On to the right side of the car. Uh, everything, again, looks pretty good. Um, you know, nothing really disappointing with this car. I will say that this 12... Nah, they're about the same. I was gonna say this this 12 almost looks like flat, and this one is like angled. See how that one's angled upward, and then that one's like flat at the bottom. Uh, not really noticeable unless you're nitpicking it, but uh, it is kind of noticeable on uh, on this car. So uh, you know, I like this paint scheme. I think it's really really good, and uh, I would definitely recommend 
uh, picking this one up. So uh, that's going to do it for me. Reach up there and hit, up, hit that like button and subscribe if you guys want to see more. Thank you all for watching. Y'all have a great day, and I'll see you all in the next one.